Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days of I'm an old guy gaming, and we play this game on insane difficulty. These zombies are all set the nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. We just about had our ass handed to us in the last episode. If you didn't catch that, you guys, <laughs> you guys gotta watch that last episode. It was nuts. <coughs> Basically, um, I was, uh, I thought I had started, the, well, oh, shit. Um, hold on. Let me take care of my light work here. Okay, so what had happened was, it, for those of you who didn't watch actually the last two episodes, um, and not the building episodes, the normal episodes. So I started the quest at the end of episode 29. But then I had to leave in real life. So I had, I had to close out of the game. I didn't come back to it till the next day. And then I logged in, and I started going through the house, and I forgot that if you log out, um, then the quest resets. So I never reset the quest. So I went through the house thinking that I had reset the quest. Um, or, or, you know, that it was still active. And then I realized that I hadn't about, I don't know, halfway through or most of the way through. But in the meantime, we had um, a screamer show up. She screamed. So another screamer show, showed up. So she screamed. So two more screamers showed up. And, well, <laughs> needless to say, it was one hell of a fight. Um, I started off with a full... A uh, stack of shotgun shells. I have 21. Well, I've got 28 left now. And some of those actually came from the loot. Uh, we used our shotgun like crazy. Uh, but I don't have a lot of shotgun shells this time. Uh, we have some, you know, 762s. Uh, we got a lot of pistols. So we're going to probably use our pistol more and our sledgehammer more uh, going through it again. Uh, but what I said in the last episode when we ended it is that we would go ahead and start the quest and actually do the quest for real. Uh, and the turn it for this is, is Trader Joel, so he's right across the street, so I figured we'd, we'd do it. This will probably be our last Tier 3 quest, by the way. Um, we do have another one here, but I've already done that, so I think we're going to we're gonna actually ditch that right now. So we'll finish this, um, and then we, we have the ability uh, to start Tier 4, but I need to take the um, opening trade routes uh, quest uh, to start that up. Okay. Anyways, um, the, even though, you know, the last episode was absolutely insane and we just about bought the farm. Uh, the good news is look what we found in that last episode, a crucible. Yay. So we found the crucible. Very excited about that. So as soon as we're done with this quest, we're going to go back up to our new house, uh, our mountain home, stick that in the forge and start making steel like crazy. Cause we need that, uh, to make our Jeep. We need it to make our high-end weapons well you know what it is we need steel for all kinds of shit uh so anyway okay let's um let's go ahead and actually we'll take our motorcycle over here oh man that was so intense that last episode zombies just kept coming because you know a screamer screams and then if they call in another screamer and she screams it just escalates from there and it just got nuts absolutely insane uh, is there anything I want to do in here before we start today? I, I guess I already looted that box, didn't I? Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm not. We're, we're really tight on inventory space. The bike is is chocked full, and I don't have a lot of room here. So we're going to be very light. I know I say that all the time, but we really literally are going to be very light on the looting. There is a lot of radiators in this house, so, you know, we will grab those. Uh, I suppose we should probably try and see if we can get a radiator out of this, too. There we go. Nice. Um, we're not taking any iron. I've got thousands and thousands and thousands of iron back at the base for mining. So there's just no point in taking up an inventory slot for a, a, a couple hundred of them, you know. Um, all right. So let's start her up. This is a clear and retrieve. Uh, but like I said, it's kind of weird getting up there, too. Um, we're going to be... Uh, we're, we're not going to... We're going to use our sledgehammer more and maybe a little more crowd control than we normally would simply because of the fact that I don't have a huge amount of ammo. So there's going to be a Zeke probably in there. And we'll use our sledgehammer a little bit more than we normally would too. Okay, so let's uh, loot this. Or salvage rather. And, uh, okay, so there's probably... Yeah, I was going to say, there's probably somebody in here. So we'll thump him with our sledge. Okay. I uh, don't really want to check anything. Well, can I? Re yeah, we can reach the toity. Let's just check it. See if there's a a um toilet pistol, right? Okay. Now 
Uh, is there going to be a Zeke in here? I think there is. Yeah. We'll just be a little bit more careful this time than we did last time. Okay, he's done. I'm not, I'm not going to check the rubbish. Just not going to do it. I should, but I'm not going to. We'll check this. I suppose. Okay. Oh, shit. Got a Y50. This guy takes a beating, man. Takes a licking and keeps on ticking. I'll give a hundred old guy points to anyone who can tell me in the comments what that's from. You have to be my age to know. Or around my age, anyways. And no looking it up on Google. Not fair. I'll know if you did, okay? Don't ask me how, I just will. Okay. Grab the brass from this. Okay, so this door works so we can retreat behind there uh, for the next round of Zeke's. There's two. Are they in that room? Where are they at? Yeah, they are in there. Okay. Let's let him come all the way through to here. Come on, dummies. Give me your head. There we go. We got plenty of 9 mil ammo, so we should try and use some of that, too. I'm guessing there's nobody else in here. Well, I guess we'll check the backpack. Eh, we're not taking that. Not taking it, man. Not taking it. That we're going to take, and we might as well drink this. Are we thirsty? A little bit. We're a little bit thirsty. Okay, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's screw... No, let's modify, pull the paint. Or the dye, rather. Then we can scrap the shirt and scrap the paint. Okay. Check the cupboards for food. Guess we'll take the water. Okay, let's open the safe. Um, do we have luckies on? Let's put luckies on. I'm so happy we found the found the crucible. It's a big game changer, the steel is. You need it to make all the higher end weapons, you need it to make the Jeep, and the motorcycle for that matter. <coughs> we need it for horde base. Okay, yeah, we'll take those. Okay, let's put these back on. I should have been wearing these when the that horde came in the last time. I would have got a shitload of XP, but I had more important things on my mind, like, you know, surviving. Then <laughs> rather than changing my eyewear. Okay, we've got one Zikaru there. I don't think we need to upgrade the frame for her. Oh, nope, this way. Okay, so we're good up here. Let's grab the brass. Check this. Um, all right, we'll take it, I guess. Okay, we're going to get some Zeke's coming up through here. 
Wait, is our satchel? Yeah, our satchel's down there. Let's try and use a little bit of CC here. Oh, shit! She came fast. She must have been right around the corner. Probably two Zeeks in those closets there. Let's see if we can. I haven't used this much CC in a long time. <laughs> we haven't really needed to, but just being careful, you know, trying to conserve our ammunition and all that sort of thing since we're kind of low ish. Okay. anybody's attention huh um that looks a little suspicious i guess that's nothing what about you those are probably covering windows bookshelf uh we already know that that's a good one too that's a really good one we should probably start incorporating more molotovs in our Our thing is that the satchel it says it's four and a half meters that way all right well I think we'll come we'll come around that way later okay let's get somebody's attention here I'm trying to be quiet so I don't get a bunch of them at the same time see over there <laughs> what'd you do man get out of my face you feral mofo Grab this. We should check our armor. What kind of shape is it in? Uh, not too bad. I mean, it does. It could. It could stand to use some repair, but it's not in terrible shape. It's probably going to be a Zikaru in there. Oh boy. That's a big Zikaru. I'm not messing with him. Okay. Okay, I think we just have one Zeke here. So our satchel's going to be in here. Right there. Okay, got that out of the way. There was a safe behind that picture last time. Not this time, unfortunately. I'm going to bring back a handy little amount of brass. This is all said and done. damn glass. We don't need it, man. We don't need it. Ooh, 
Ooh. All right. All right. Okay, I think we got him. There's somebody in there? We can't block that door, can we? Alright, let's just get ready for him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Guess not. Okay, this is kind of a secret room, so we got a nerd pull up here. We gotta get rid of this. And it's got a working stiffs. Oh, look at that, a battery bank. We will put that to use at our new house. Yes, indeed we will. I'm gonna chuck that. It's not worth selling, and we don't really need the iron from it. Anyone out in the garage? Nope, looks clear. Hmm, nice. Ooh, yeah, look at that. That's some good loot, you guys. Is this better than our current AK? It is not. It's one point less than everything except for the magazine size. Okay. That's fine, though. We could s fix that up, put some mods on it, sell it for a crap ton of money. Um. All right. We are really getting tight. You know what? We got lots of mechanical parts. We got lots of electrical parts back at the base. We just don't need to be carrying that stuff with us right now. I would if I could keep it, but we don't need to. Yes, I know there's only three coins in here, but I'm not going to throw any coins away. <laughs> Not unless we absolutely have to do it. Some of you guys were giving me a hassle. Not a hassle. You, it was all good fun, of course, but just teasing me about how I was, you know, trying to do some inventory management. And I had like one duke in my inventory and I wouldn't get rid of it because it, it didn't, it just didn't occur to me, you know, to, to throw money away, even if it's just one. <laughs> so it's funny. Funny stuff. I'm going to keep that. Um, yeah, let's just check the cupboards for food. There we go. Uh, we need to eat, so we're going to just eat right now. How about some acid? I would take that, but I think I'm just going to eat it instead and get the XP for the sake of inventory space. Okay, that's it for the kitchen. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close. So we're going to get a decent amount of Zika Ruse down here. Let's see if we can start off with a little bit of crowd control. No, nope, not taking that. Get rid of that thing. Quiet kills. Quiet kills. All right. There's usually some zombos in this room that kind of, yeah, see what I mean? Poke their head through there. Let's shoot her in the butt. Okay. Two down. About probably five or six more to go, I'm guessing. Let's do the same thing over here. Okay, well, let's make some noise. That's 
track. Run right into my sledge, baby. Okay, so we got a Zeke this way. There's probably one underneath the stairs there. Oh, can't close that door. Let's check here for food really quick. Ooh, that's good stuff. Yeah, we'll take a honey. We'll take a honey, honey. Peas. I know I'm not supposed to eat peas. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to eat these. Because inventory space is more important than 100 or so dukes. That's what we're looking for. Uh, and that's the last slot that we have. So. Okay. Let's finish clearing and then we will. Um, we'll check the fat loots, but then I'll have to come back for them later. I want both of those things. We are hurt a little bit, so let's take that. And uh, where's our lock picks at? Lockpicks, lockpicks, where are you at? Why can't I see my lockpicks? Is it because... They're right here, okay. For some reason, I my eyes just have a hard time seeing lockpicks in my inventory. I mean, there's a zombie right around the corner right there. Huh. Weird. Oh, yeah, there she is. Okay, return to trader. That takes care of the Zeke Ruse. That's just a stupid uh, duffel bag. Okay, we have no room in our inventory, so we're just going to... I'm just going to show you what's here. Um, and one up here. Let's put our luckies on. Excuse me. Okay, let's see what we got. Working stiffs. Oh, we got a chainsaw. Nice. And a switch schematic. Very useful. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll come back and get that. Workbench schematic. What do we have in the weapons bag? Another robotic sledge. This we can do for parts, of course. Uh, we'll take those right now. Working stiff box. Okay, uh, we can take those. A ah, decent little supply of parts there. And another working stiff. Okay, let's look at the fat loots. Blue iron leg armor. Definitely better than what we're wearing uh, armor-wise. I think we have purple legs, though, right? Yeah. So we would have to give up... Prob mm, I don't really want to give any of that stuff up. <laughs> uh, if if I gave anything up, it probably be, would, be, would be the armor plating mod, because this helps us move better. Um, all right, well, I'll think about that. I'll think about that. But anyway, that's what we got. So, okay, so let's see. Um, damn, that took us like 30 minutes to do that whole thing. I, f I figured we'd move through here quick, more quickly, but we didn't. So let's, um, let's go back to Trader Joel. And um, I'm going to just kind of cut through here quick. You know, do the turn-in so we see what we get. And then I'm going to let you guys go. And then I'll take care of coming back here and getting all this stuff. Okay, I'm going to put, um, we just need a spot for for the um, the loot that he's going to give us. Well, you're a sight for Sora. Okay, what do we get? Ooh, a green compound bow. That's kind of tempting, actually. It's worth a lot of money. 
Uh, we can make these fairly easily. So yeah, you know what? I think we're going to take that. These are nice though too, but yeah, we'll take the compound bow. All right. You have any jobs? Okay, looks like I'm going to have to get... Oh, so he's going to give me tier fours, even though I haven't done the opening trade routes quest yet. Interesting. Um, okay, let's... You think you can help me with a Let's brawl? take... Of course, it's God's a waterworks. <laughs> Most common level four uh, POI there is. Uh, okay, well, let's go ahead and take that from him then. And then... Um, We'll still go do the opening trade route, so I think we have to get that from Trader Bob. I'm pretty sure we have to get that from Trader Bob because that will then open up the fourth trader for us. And so we'll do that. All right. Okay, guys. Well, yeah, we're out of time. So I'm going to let you go here, and then, like I said, I'll, I'll figure out what I'm going to do for the inventory here. And, um... In the next episode, see, I still want to go over there and get all of the, you know, all of the gut piles. There's a bunch of gut piles in that place, and we need it for the fertilizer. We might we might just do that, you know, I mean, we won't have a quest for it, but we might just do it for the hell of it. But, yeah, we don't have time to do that in this episode, though, so if we do that, we'll do it later. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.